Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be walking you through the process of setting up SSH login without a password for Linux servers from both Windows and Ubuntu clients. This can significantly enhance security and streamline your remote access experience. So, let's dive right in. Before we get started, let's briefly discuss what SSH is and why key-based authentication is beneficial. SSH, or Secure Shell, is a cryptographic network protocol that allows secure communication over an unsecured network. Key-based authentication is a method of logging into a server using a cryptographic key pair rather than a password. This is the server I want to connect to without using a password. Currently I have to type in the password to access the server. You first need to generate an SSH key pair on the client machine. I will start with the Linux client machine running Ubuntu 22.04. To generate an SSH key pair, type in the following command on the client Linux machine. Just press enter when it asks for the file, passphrase, or same passphrase. By default the command generates a pair of keys in the SSH directory. By default the command generates a pair of keys in the SSH directory. The private and public keys have now been created. The one that says IDRSA is the private key it is stored on your local computer and should be kept secure and not shared with anyone. The public key that has pub at the end needs to be placed on the server you are going to log into. You can share your public key with others. With your SSH key pair generated, the next step is to copy the public key to your Linux server. You can do this using the SSH copy ID command. Enter the command followed by the username and IP address of your server. You'll be prompted to enter your server password. Once done, your public key will be added to the authorized keys file on the server. Now that the public key is on the server, let's test our setup. Try connecting to your Linux server using the ssh command. You should be able to log in without entering a password. If everything is set up correctly, you've successfully configured SSH login without a password. If you encounter any issues, here are a few troubleshooting tips. Double check that the permissions on the SSH directory and the authorized keys file on the server are set correctly. Ensure that the client machine has the private key in the correct location. Let us now see how you can set up SSH login without password on a Windows machine. We are going to use PuTTY. Make sure PuTTY is installed on your Windows machine. PuTTY is free and open source SSH client software. You also need to download the PuTTY Generator app from the PuTTY website. You'll use this to create your private and public key pair. In the PuTTY Key Generator box, make sure the radio button at the bottom is selected for RSA. Move your mouse around the box to help generate the keys. Once the key is created, a new pop-up box appears. The public key is shown on top. Click both the Save Public Key and Save Private Key buttons that appear on the bottom right to save these keys to your computer. When saving, you are prompted with a message about a passphrase. Click Yes to save without a passphrase.
upload the public key you just created to your Linux server. This is where your keys will be saved. Open the file using a text editor I'm going to use Nano myself. As you can see there is already a key. This is the key we uploaded earlier for the Ubuntu client. Let us now copy and paste the key for the Windows client. You can now save the file. Log out of PuTTY and start the program up again. Enter the username in front of the IP address of the server. I'm connecting to the Linux server using the root account. On the left click on authentication and then click credentials. Browse to the saved private key on your local computer. Click on Sessions and try to connect to the server. Now the PuTTY will connect to the remote SSH server and there it won't ask for any password. Remember to save the session so next time you do not have to browse to the public key. Congratulations! You've successfully set up SSH access without a password using PuTTY. If you encounter any issues, double-check the file permissions on the authorized keys file on your server and ensure that the private key file on your Windows machine is secure. Also, confirm that the public key was copied correctly to the server. And there you have it. You've learned how to set up SSH access without a password using PuTTY. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for watching, and happy remote accessing.